Welcome, Taurus, to your love reading for the week of the 16th to the 22nd of 2000, December 2019. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with you. I am shuffling a card. Some people like this. I'm going to do a different format this week. Adjusting to the arrangements and everything is set up with me, um, eventually. So let's see. Energy for Taurus and love. So uh, we have the Knight of Cups that popped out. And... That's the say the overall energy I feel. Uh, the Knight of Cups in reverse is um, could be a water sign, but often I feel your emotional state may be a bit intense. Is where we assume uh, certain things. We may be possessive of our romantic love interest or partner, and wanting that person to be around you may assume that this person is doing certain things that they shouldn't be doing when they could be doing things in the right way. But it's also having a realization that someone is not treating you right and still not liking that. And you want to be around this person, but there may be some issues with you connecting with uh, that love interest or partner. So be careful with that. Um, the emotional state. All right. Um, so let's see uh, the person or energy coming towards you for Taurus for the 16th to the 22nd and love person coming towards you. Uh, drama conflict with the five of wands being there and that is often you know a lot of competition or sometimes it's physical altercations and you need to be aware of getting into anything like that because those things can uh, turn left and they might not be able to turn right again you know so clarify the five of wands what is this about what the five of wands for Taurus and the seven of cups and that's where someone is being very conflictual with you and whatever kind of drama it is it's where they're wanting to be single and not uh, want to commit that could cause you for those of you who are pursuing somebody and they don't want to be in a connection with you you might not like that and that is uh, very frustrating and that could cause a lot of jealousy and things so that could be the issue all right um so it looks like drama and being single for the person you're dealing with. Let's see what might your response be. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. Too many cards popped out at once. We're going to try that again. We see we have the tower and stuff coming through and the ten of swords. Let's see this. Let's look at this again. Your response. Yeah. See the way that you respond to. Be careful about how you respond with the four cups in reverse being there because it could cause you to block progress in other areas of your life. Um, sometimes when we get into altercations and say you, for instance, you feel like certain people might not have anything to lose and they, you know, get into fights because it's all they've been used to and they don't really care. Somebody that has, you know, um, deeply scarred emotionally, they try to you know make you feel that pain and sometimes those physical altercations can leave you with life scars that you might not be so proud of in the future so um these could uh you know bring about issues with you when you're focused on something that's not going right you're focused on the wrong person and constantly doing you know, the same thing over and over again you may miss other opportunities to manifest something with someone that is emotionally available and not willing to constantly give into conflict over and over again and give you what you deserve and need all right so let's see the uh let's see advice for this week advice so we have a few cards that came through and see the towers coming out again uh you have a lot of cards i'm gonna i'm gonna try to lay them out there like they came out i'm gonna put them right at the bottom and it seems like if this is a new relationship or a new attraction that you have with somebody, it does cause you to uh, be obsessive about it. Maybe um, a bit too clingy or the other way around where the person is like that. And you're not sure what to do, maybe because it's, you know, sometimes it's also as well realizing that someone that you moved on from, they could be in and of the relationship and you're not liking the thoughts of that. And there's, uh, you know, a decision that you have to make right now and for your children, for your own sake. Some of you are focusing on a new career. And I feel like what's important here, make sure that you're not blocking your blessings by being, you know, given into the heavy drama with other people. You know, the physical altercations and things like that. Stay away from that energy. Stay away from it. 
um, it's not really going to do you um, any disservice and doesn't mean don't protect yourself but there is a lot of power in being able to walk away from situations that can be intense and allow the universe and the angels to guide you away from those kind of things and be aware of your financial concerns and if you do have those let that be your priority this week okay so whoever you're dealing with uh, that person has some things that they need to take care of and i don't feel like it's beneficial for you to focus in that area um yeah a lot of um tension between you and that person but you do have an opportunity to enjoy yourself and make a decision to do that all right so um we're going to do one more card for you and that's going to be from the fairies all right um, we have a lot of cards here uh so let's see one card from the fairies with Taurus. And we have spring. It says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. And um, that is, I believe, that does deal with your 11th house. So the sun in Pisces, March 20th, that's my birthday. But that is the first day of spring. And that is uh, where you have the opportunity to enjoy friendships and things like that, interacting with the 11th house. The 11th house is a social activity friendships and um, kind of allowing people to come into your life to help you expand and broaden your horizons and you know travel and do different things and to see what things you can do to manifest uh, a good team when it comes to your career aspirations all right so um, that's what it is in love for this week i hope the messages did help out in some way lots of love to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can check out the description of the video if you would like a private uh, reading dealing with love all right have a good one